hello friends and welcome back to see for you this video is about Wolf rearrangement its mechanism and some problems we will solve okay so basically Wolf rearrangement is the reaction of alpha diazo ketones or alpha diazo carbonyl compounds to form ketones okay so this is the alpha diazo compound uh, basic structure which is a stabilized one you can see the resonance stabilization so before going to reaction one must know how this is to be prepared so we'll just see it in brief you need acid chloride and these acid chlorides are then treated with diazomethane in presence of a strong base any base you can use and this would give a uh, base would abstract this proton and this would give you something like this and you will be with your desired compound okay fine so is your 1h and triple bond n plus okay so this is the one way to write the structure of diazo ketone or in other way the reaction can be written in this form also where uh, i'm sorry i hope this is visible to you okay i'll write it here oh dear. sorry c double bond o c h minus n triple bond n plus where this proton is going to be taken by the base itself okay so this is how you are getting diazomethane now you have to remember these two structures there is no way there shouldn't be any confusion okay so i'll write the structure again there are two possible mechanisms for this reaction we'll see one by one so this would be the possible mechanism first okay now we are going to see in this case these diazo ketones can be treated or ca can be subjected to heat or they can be subjected to sunlight or photons or they can be treated with moist Ag2O. In all cases, what we are getting is now this negative charge undergo resonance and you will get something like this. Fine. So what is being here? C O minus here would be double bond C H single bond N triple bond N and positive charge remains the same. Now here is the step which we call as the rearrangement and the most important step this methyl group or any alkyl would be there get shifted to the carbon along with his pair of electrons and cause this nitrogen to get off so with minus of n2 gas which is a very stable gas we know hence it becomes a good living group and we are getting here double bond o c double bond c h c h3 so this is what the stable product we are getting ketene and this ketene can be hydrolyzed further to carboxylic acids that we will see but by now let's see the possible mechanism too second possible mechanism what is it okay now this structure okay this structure or uh, these things can be written as now i'm just rubbing these arrows i'm just removing this and i'll give a trick to write this structure in the another format which we have written earlier in the formation ch minus n triple bond n plus okay hope you get it now in this case in this case after subjection to heat this n2 gas is supposed to leave and we know when your carbon has an extra electron pair and 
in the same condition extra electron pair means when your carbon has a negative charge un unpaired electrons and in the same condition one of the leaving group leaves out in such a phenomenon you are going to get a carbene okay so the second mechanism what we are predicting here is via the formation of carbene these carbenes are so much reactive that their lifetime is too short hence uh, that, that, that's why many of the books suggest this mechanism but this is again a one, one of the possibility and this can be happened okay and now here what happens one of the pair forms a electron uh, here I mean forms a bond here shifts electron carbonyl opens and rejoins and then again rearrangement takes place and what you are getting is I'm sorry the same product we are getting C H C H 3 okay and mm. to show the hydrolysis in both of the cases when you will add H to O it is going to give you C H 3 C H 2 C double bond O which this is going to be your product okay but in exams if you write up to these only examiner uh, doesn't expect hydrolysis from you okay fine but in uh, computer exams if you are given with this compound and uh, options are with acids so you have to uh, keep in mind key after hydrolysis ketones after hydrolysis are going to give you good carboxylic acids so this was the mechanism i hope you got both of them you can remember for the one also but i don't think there is any confusion or there is any fact that makes it difficult to remember okay fine so now we are going to see some problems so this is the one problem uh, which is a bit simple just one modification is there uh, when hydrogen is being replaced by methyl group so this problem is for you guys you have to do it just pause the video and get the solution till then i'll write next problem okay i hope you all are with the answer and this would be your kitten which after hydrolysis would give you uh, one carboxylic acid okay fine so now here we have we have with the second problem which is a bit tricky and this problem is from one of the competitive exam okay so first thing what you have to do is treat it with acid heat okay sorry reaction conditions has to be mentioned anything you can mention whether heat sunlight or h 2 fine so in these cases you have to remember the when this type of compounds are treated with three of conditions you have to make it ketone here what you would do this bond can be rearranged as like this and O minus double bond and triple bond and positive charge remains the same and now what the rearrangement takes place which we call as this bond this bond is going to shift to this carbon and N2 is supposed to leave I'll show here with the loss of nitrogen see it carefully okay first I'll write the structure and then I'll explain how it goes this is what the product how it comes you have six member dream one two three four five six and this bond is going to be shifted here that means this carbon and this carbon is going to make a bond and one carbon is now getting out of the ring okay so that means you have one two three four five these five carbons in the ring one two three four five okay and the one which is uh, exiting the ring is going to be the your ketene carbon so fine what you are getting here is again a ketene and after hydrolysis you will get your cyclopentyl carboxylic acid fine so hi hydrolysis you can do on yourself i hope you got all the points and fine sorry sorry for the disturbance okay fine so this is for today's video in the next video i'll come up with the similar type of a reaction which is the lozen rearrangement till then just stay tuned and enjoy the chemistry
enjoy the lockdown stay home stay safe